Welcome back to Unstitched with Rich and Anton. Hey guys, welcome back to Unstitched. Today we're not going to uh, dive so much into fashion, but we're going to talk about another element of the gentleman's lifestyle, and that's receding hairlines. What should you do when it starts to go back? Do you hang on to it, try to style around it, or do you just bite the bullet, cut it all off? Anton, what you got on this one? I mean, I feel like you can make the best of whatever you have, right? So if you have a little cul-de-sac situation going on up here, but you can still make these boys spin back there, you do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Maybe keep it a little low, keep it tight, you know, don't go crazy. But I'm just saying, you know, a lot of guys over the years have made it work. You know, you just make it work, make yourself look good, especially if it's something that really bothers you. Yeah, you know what? Uh, you guys can see where I stand on it. Um, I definitely think what you got to do, bite the bullet, go clean. Ladies love that bald head look. You get compliments all the time. If you're not used to it, you've never tried it, even if you had hair, you know, a lot of people would just want to try it out, see what it would look like. If you never tried it, people are scared. I get that. But once you convert and really take care of it, I think you own it, you know, it can be a good look. Rather than, you know, the George Jefferson, you know, trying to hold on and you got the McDonald's thing going on in the top. It's a bad look. You see people trying to do it and it's just, we won't name names. We know some athletes even out there, they're trying to hang on. Everybody's telling them, cut it off, cut it off. That's what I'm encouraging you guys to do too. Cut it off, man. It's time to grow up. Yeah, but everybody don't have a head that's fit for a bald head. Like everybody's just not built the same. Like, you know, you might have been blessed with a head that you can do that. <laughs> so it was easy for you to make the transition. For others, especially if you're 27 years old, 30 years old, you know, you you starting to recede. Like, especially if your hair is still silky soft, you're not trying to go just, just bald it all out. Like you might try to just hold on to it. You might try some prod products to bring it back. I don't know, Rich, but just going straight up bald just because you might be receding a little bit. And let's not think about the men's units that they talk about now. Oh, I didn't hear on. about this until... L L Nobody's whoa, doing whoa. that. Somebody's got to be doing this. It's a whole industry. Just to, like It's a whole industry now. Now, I mean, it's not me, everybody. Listen, this is real. But... <laughs> okay. But, but, <laughs> We fact check it. <laughs> Listen, I got the receipts. Call my barber, baby. But what I'm saying is, yeah. if it starts to pull off a salt and pepper situation with a unit, I don't know if I, like, I might. I might, but everybody don't have the same situation, Richie. Like, everybody doesn't have the confidence that the great Richie T might be able to pull off. You know, some of us, <laughs> we, you know, we need a little hair to come out of the door. All right, let me tackle one of the points you brought up. People say, man, I don't have the right shape head. Who does? Nobody's got a perfect head. I mean, what is the perfect head? The thing is, what you got to do is make sure you take care of it. Own it. It's like anything. When you, when you dress up, you try something new, you got to be able to own it. Same thing with the bald head look. Some of the problems guys do is they don't go all the way. They got all this little stubble and stuff like that. Nope, take it straight down to the razor, even if you got to go to the barber and let them razor that boy and let it be clean, a little bit of shine to it, polish her up, <laughs> make, little make it work. Make a little it work Vaseline on it, right? Yeah yeah, 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 make it work for you. You know, Cue ball situation. The only, the only one that I'll give you is a lot of times you might see a guy who's got, he's got the, the wrinkle head. You ever see the guys with the wrinkle head? Now yeah. you ostracizing a segment of our yeah. audience. I'm just saying, <laughs> if you got the wrinkle head, that's the that's the Scotty Pippen. Did I? Just... <laughs> you might you might want to try to. I know I'm for bald head, but but see if you could go real light, light, light with it. You know what I'm saying? But almost bald, like almost, almost, almost. bald. But what I hate because look, everybody's not Jason Statham. He's the only guy pulling off that you know, cul-de-sac look and still out there being a heartthrob for Hollywood. The average guy, what you got to do, come on over to our side, go bald. And I guarantee you, when you go bald, the lady in your life or somebody's going to be like, let me, let me just, <laughs> and, and then <laughs> when, when that much. happens, when that happens, you're going to be like, you know what? I made the right decision. No. I'm, I'm not listening to the anti. Listen, you, if you got to go, Cold a sack in the front, party in the back. You do what you got to do. What, what about the ball spot in the middle? Then what? 
You got, so you got it, 360 waves with the fryer tuck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that, that ain't no good look. You got the fryer Tigo. Listen, all I'm saying is nobody can see you when you, they, nobody can see it when you're coming. They can only see it when you're going. So all you do, you walk up, put your arm around your lady, bong, and just keep moving forward. What, what's next like, we don't look back. What's next we only you? look forward. Don't worry Let about guess. that. Hat, right? Hat fish everybody. But yeah, yeah, that's what's coming next out of anti. Just put yeah, the nah. hat on, have the hat sticking up, show the little hair. <laughs> <laughs> Some, the wind blows, somebody knocks off the hat. <laughs> I see all the baldness. Bad look. Bad look, guys. Let's just go bald. Just go bald. Take care of it. Shine her up. Keep it smooth. Just about every day. What if what if you got the light skin head though? Like what if you got like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if you got the light skin head? Like that's not that's not a good look. Listen, I'm hey, done with this. Go you outside, know what it get is. Some sun. Work with what you got. All right, everybody. Don't cut your hair all the way off. Everybody's head's not. People are gonna make fun of you. You might look no, like, what? you might look like an alien. You know what I'm saying? Don't listen to Rich. He's bugging. This is all I got for this. This is, I mean, Rich. I don't know. Take us home. I can't do this anymore with you, guys. Let me tell you, if if your head shape is weird or is thrown off, try something different with your facial hair to take away from just the bald head. Let them look at the beard. A it's helmet. <laughs> Look, we signed it <laughs> off, man. We ain't agreeing on this, guys. Let us know in the comments below. Should you just go bald, or should you try to hang on and and, and keep the bozo look? Just let us know what you think. We're, we're curious. And uh, next time on Unstitch, we're back to fashion. Everybody, like, comment, subscribe. See you soon. This was Unstitched. 